We are here at SIGGRAPH to showcase our high dynamic range projector. It is incredibly bright and it is incredibly efficient and uh, we're quite excited about it. Uh, projectors require a lot of lamp power. They are, in spite of all this lamp power, they are dim, they have low contrast and this gets worse as the projector gets bigger because there's just so much light inside of them. Now that reduces image quality, uh, which reduces the storytelling, and this is what we really want to address. We want to make a tool that enables better storytelling in movies. So what we're making is a high dynamic range, high brightness projector. Our system is the one on the top. Uh, we have a baseline projector on the bottom to show you the difference. I'm going to measure the luminance. I have a luminance spot meter. So I go up here, check out the base projector or the bottom projector. So the brightest part of this image is approximately 19 candelas per meter squared, or six foot Lamberts in this particular frame. That's as bright as that projector will ever get. You cannot get it brighter. We'll make a measurement of the top. Let's see. Okay, so right now in the flame on the top, I'm measuring 543 nits, or candelas per meter squared. That's a comfortable 25 times increase in luminance. We want to build a company. We want to be able to sell our steer light engine, if you will, to OEM, have projector makers incorporated into their projectors, just like they would take a lamp and put into their projectors. They can now take an MTT light engine, if you will, and put into their projector and get this improvement on the performance and, and the reduced cost. We think we can get this down to a cost level of about a third of what today's projectors are sold for. Of course, we're hoping we can scale this to volume, uh, be able to get it out to consumer markets and so forth. Uh, there's also other things we're looking at. And VR came up, so that will, I guess that would be a, an application of a projector. Uh, and we're also looking at automotive uh, applications like steerable headlights, head-up displays, also augmented reality. But that's down the line. Cinema is definitely where we're going first. SIGGRAPH is, is just the most exciting place for this, uh, this kind of endeavor, I think. ETEC is fantastic, we get invited down, it's a great opportunity again for a startup to showcase uh, what we have. We like the interaction with people, people understand this, uh, they, they see where this can go, where this can be used. It's a very stimulating uh, conference for us. Winning the Laval Virtual Award is an honor, it was, uh, it was unexpected. Uh, ETEC is full of a lot of good projects and a number of them actually have a VR angle, we are not directly pursuing this as, as a core idea of our research, uh, of our development. So in, in some sense it was uh, a bit surprising, you know, we're making a projector, but then when I think about it, you know, you always want better imaging uh, technologies, you want to be able to, to see, to experience, so it's, it's a fairly basic uh, technology and I think it, uh, it can probably benefit the space uh, nicely.